Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. This is Eisenerz and today we're going to look at the craziest combo card I've seen in a while. Remember that I said I won't stop brewing Urza? Well, here are some new lines we have in the deck that are all enabled by a single card. Forensic Gadgeteer. Forensic Gadgeteer is a new card and it reads, whenever you cast an artifact spell, create a clue token. Activated abilities of artifacts you control cost one less to activate. This means that with Urza in play, all of the artifacts you cast now generate a clue token that can be tapped for mana through Urza to be used as a mox and eventually can be sacrificed to Cantrip. Gadgeteer and Urza combined now become storm enablers pretty similar to Joyra and Birgi because they create both mana and card advantage. That's already really good, but wait, there is more. As mentioned in the title, this card isn't only a storm enabler or value engine, it is actually the craziest combo card I've seen in a while. Just look at this diagram. These cards create an absurd amount of layered combos that all allow you to go infinite in multiple ways out of thin air. Let's go through all of the combos that involve Forensic Gadgeteer one by one. The first combo is really straightforward. With Gadgeteer in play, Basalt Monolith untap ability is reduced by one mana. The Monolith now taps for 3, but untaps for 2 mana, which allows you to create infinite mana on the spot. This is very similar to how Power Artifact works with Basalt Monolith and Grim Monolith, turning both of them into mana positive rocks. The second combo is a bit more creative. We all know that Basalt Monolith goes infinite with Rings of Bright Hat. You activate Basalt Monolith untap ability for 3 mana and copy that ability through Rings of Bright Hat for another 2 mana. You now have two untap activations on the stack. Untap Basalt Monolith for the first time and tap it for 3 mana. Untap it a second time and tap it for another 3 mana. You just spent 5 mana to create 6 mana, which will allow you to repeat the sequence for infinite mana. Well, the same combo is now possible with Gadgeteer and Grim Monolith as in replacement for Basalt Monolith. Basically, Gadgeteer reduces Grim Monolith untap ability from 4 mana to 3 mana which now means it taps for 3 and untaps for 3, making it functionally identical to Passalt Monolith. Add Rings of Brightath to the mix and you got yourself another infinite mana combo. The third combo is kind of a mix of the first and second combo. Remember, Gadgeteer reduces the activation cost of artifacts by 1 mana, which makes Basalt Monolith go mana positive and Grim Monolith go mana neutral. Well, if you have two Gadgeteers in play, you will reduce the activation cost of your artifacts by 2 mana. Which means that now Grim Monolith will also tap for 3 mana and untap itself for only 2 mana. Meaning that it too is now a mana positive rock, just as if you would enchant it with power artifact. Obviously, this effect is not tied to Phyrexian Metamorph. Phantasmal Image or Flash Duplicate can copy Gadgeteer as well, which allows you to assemble this combo in multiple ways. So, we just saw that doubling Gadgeteer can create an infinite mana combo. Well, if you replace Grim Monolith with Sensei's Divining Top, you have yourself a fourth combo that allows you to draw your whole deck. With two Gadgeteers in play, simply cast Sensei's Divining Top and create two blue tokens. Activate Sensei's Divining Top to draw a card and put it on top of your library. Tap the first clue for mana through Urza and sacrifice it to itself to draw your Sensei's Divining Top off the top of your library. Tap the second clue for mana to recast Sensei's Divining Top and create two more clue tokens. Rinse and repeat to draw your deck and create an equal amount of tapped clue tokens. Again, the clone effect can be replaced with Phantasmal Image or Flash Duplicate. But what I like most about this combo is how great it makes use of clues as both Moxen and Cantrips in a way that is so subtle that a lot of people won't notice the combo until it's too late. The fifth combo is very similar, but instead of using two Forensic Gadgeteers for double clue tokens, you use the reality chip to recast Sensei's Divining Top off the top of your library. Simply have all the pieces in play and the reality chip equipped to a creature. Activate Sensei's Divining Top to draw a card and put it on top of your library. Tap the reality chip through Urza to recast Sensei's Divining Top off the top of your library and create a clue token. Activate Sensei's Divining Top to draw a card and put it on top of your library. Now tap the first clue token to recast Sensei's Divining Top off the top of your library and create another clue token. This will also allow you to draw your whole deck and make an equal amount of tapped clue tokens. This combo works very similar to already known combos with Forensic Gadgeteer replacing Ethereum Sculptor or Displacer Kid. So those also layer much better into the combo arsenal of Urza now. And if you thought that's it, hang on for one more combo. This 
Sixth Combo is a DIY version of a card I've been dreaming of for a while now. Pilipala is a really bad card on its own and has pretty balanced card design because it costs 2 to activate but only generates 1 mana in return. However, with Forensic Gadgeteer in play, Pilipala's activation cost is reduced to 1. This means we can make infinite mana without ever using the stack, so without ever giving our opponents a window to interact with us. You tap Pilipala for 1 through Urza. You then use the 1 mana to activate Pilipala, untapping it and creating another mana. You are now back where you started, but with 1 mana floating. Rinse and repeat these two steps to make infinite mana, all with the use of mana abilities that do not use the stack. I love this combo because it's so resilient and fun, and I've always wanted a Pilipala creature that costs only 1 to activate. However, I don't think the combo is good enough to be played, just because it doesn't layer well into the existing combos, and Pilipala is just such a bad card on its own. And that's it! Six new, layered combos, all carried by a single card that's a card draw and ramp engine as well as a versatile game ender. Just an incredibly fun and powerful new addition to Urza. What do you think about this card? And do you know any other combos this enables? Make sure to leave a comment down below. If you want to support me even more, make sure to like, share, comment and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, hop over to my Discord server, become a patron and hit me up for coaching sessions if you want to bring your game to the next level. Thank you for watching my videos, this is Eisenerz and auf Wiedersehen.